you standing up here and telling a very, very similar story. We have also seen the impact of heroin on babies uh, who have been born drug dependent. And I've seen this as I've talked to doctors around the state and been in hospitals <coughs> around the state. They can be born with breathing complications, low birth weight, seizures. They can show even signs of withdrawal. Many times it will take 10, 20, 30, sometimes 40, 50, 60 days before that child can ever leave the hospital. And what the long-term impact on that child will be, we, we do not know yet. I want to talk for a moment about the indirect deaths. Heroin's impact can be found not just among heroin deaths, but by tracking the indirect deaths too. Someone who is addicted to heroin accidentally kills himself or has a fatal car accident. Perhaps someone is shot because his drug dealer killed him. Most coroners in the state, understandably, do not track indirect deaths. However, Scioto County Coroner does and does do that with all drug-related deaths. In 2012, Scioto County Coroner reported 15 direct deaths and 13 indirect deaths. The point is, if you count all the indirect heroin deaths statewide, heroin's deadly influence may actually double. Standing up here with me is Karen Quack, our BCI laboratory uh, director. Um, suspected heroin cases submitted to our BCI lab for testing continue to increase. Uh, these numbers are frankly amazing. As you can see by this chart, they continue to go up. And these are just cases. And this is, of course, just through November 15th. So there are already that figure. 